In this tutorial, we will be discussing resonance structures. When writing Lewis structures for some, for some molecules, such as SO2, we can write more than one good Lewis structure. Begin with a skeletal structure, for instance, OSO. S is in the middle because of the fact that it's furthest away from, from fluorine on the periodic table. So here we go. S, when we look at the periodic table, is right here. You count the rows over, and you find that both sulfur and oxygen are in the same row with six valence electrons. So sulfur has six electrons, oxygen has two times six electrons for twelve. Six plus twelve is 18 electrons total. Connect the sulfur and the oxygen, and we've used up four electrons at this point. So 18 minus four is 14. Now let's put the electrons on the peripheral atoms to fill up the octets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, now that that's filled up, we go to the middle, 13, 14. As we do that, we can start looking at the valence electrons in the octet. So we pair up the electrons for the bonds, then we fill in the peripherals, then we put in that second lone pair here, just as we did on the very first slide. So let's look at the octets now. With oxygen, we have two, four, six, eight. For the other oxygen, we have two, four, six, eight. Now let's look at sulfur. Two, four, six. It doesn't have an octet, it's two away. So what happens is two of the electrons from one of the oxygens get shared to that sulfur. So this is starting to look a little messy, so I'm going to redraw it. Two of the electrons from one of the oxygen move over and they share both electrons with that sulfur. So that's why you have four dots here. So instead of having one line, you now have two lines. Now you might ask yourself, which oxygen donates those two electrons? And that's where the term, the area of resonance comes in. It goes both ways. We could have formed the double bond with the oxygen from the other atom. The two structures are equally correct in the Lewis structures. We find that the molecule exists in nature as an average or intermediate between the two Lewis structures, and neither one alone re represents reality. So in other words, this double bond ends up getting shared between all three of those atoms. Either one, either one of the two Lewis structures for SO2 would predict that SO2 would contain two different kinds of bonds, one double and one single. When we examine SO2 in nature and we do actual experiments with it, we find that both of the double bonds are equivalent and intermediate in strength and length of a true double bond. In nature, we find that the bonds are equivalent. That's why I said that they're actually being shared. We represent that with a dashed line between them. We account for this in Lewis theory by representing the molecule in, with both structures called resonant structures, with a double-headed arrow between them, right here. The true structure of SO2 is intermediate between the two resonant structures. So which one does it do? It does both. The double bond could be on this side, or the double bond could be on that side for resonant structures. So when you're thinking about resonance and you're trying to answer a question in chemistry, don't change the actual location of the atoms. 
once you figure out the most stable locate stable arrangement you can notice that one would have a double bond and the other one have a single and then you're just flipping from one side to the other side that double bond the actual term of resonance is referring to the fact that it actually becomes like a dash line it becomes like a one and a half bond on both sides rather than a double and a single ozone is another example of this as ozone is a form of oxygen in which three oxygen atoms bond together and the Lewis structure consists of two resonance notice here it's still O O O O O O but on the left hand side the double bonds on the left on the right hand side the double bond on the right resonance is drawing both of them compare this structure to a regular oxygen atom which is O2 which molecule O3 or O2 do you think would be stronger oxygen oxygen bond the reality is that, that since this is a one and a half bond and not a single and double the double bond ends up being stronger and that's how you do resonance